Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sellner here with head track coach Phil Kopinski. Coach, home meet nice went really well for you guys. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good weekend? It was. And it seemed like a good one for you guys as well. Friday, the Cougars came out and did a really good job at the home meet. A lot of volunteers helped it run what seemed to be very smoothly. Jess Wilson kind of highlighted the day with a new school record. Just your overall thoughts. Well, overall thoughts, I think the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the, the rest of the coaching staff and the volunteers that came out. I mean, we can't have a, uh, a top-notch meet without top-notch help. And, and there were plenty of athletes that went above and beyond uh, what they thought they were signing up for. So thanks to the athletes. Uh, I appreciate that and the coaches for their assistance. Uh, as far as the meets, uh, you know, I'm just thankful we didn't get snow. <laughs> I mean, Saturday we got four inches, so I'm glad we got our meet on Friday. But uh, our athletes performed really well. We were split squad between here and Drake, and um, there was a lot of highlighting performances. Jess Wilson breaking Abby Pierce's record in the discus uh, and moving up in the weight throw. I think she's currently 20th in the weight throw, 25th in the discus nationwide. Uh, Simone Wilson over at Drake ran a good time. She's currently, I think, eighth in the 400 hurdles uh, and 30th or 35th in the 400, and Kayla continues to be Kayla. So uh, things went really well. Um, I think on our men's side, uh, Enrique Ramos had a decent meet, uh, took home two firsts, but I think he, there's still more to come for him. We, you already beat me to it. The Drake, the Drake realized it was a really cool opportunity Talk about that and what that meet is like because that's not something that's easy to get into and for the Concordia athletes to be there, it was a really special thing in the world of track at the NCAA level. Yeah, uh, Drake Relays is invite only. You have to submit a time and hopefully there's automatic qualifiers, but those, those times are hard to hit. Uh, Simone actually had one, uh, but the rest of the team had to uh, apply to get in and then you have to be accepted. So the fact that our men's sprint medley relay of Tyreek Thomas uh, Tanner Swanson, Adam Gray, and Thomas McNamara were able to experience that. It, it's much like a, a national stage. You know, you're going to have 5,000 screaming fans and countless Olympians walking around. They got pictures with a bunch, so that was fun for them. But it was, it was a great experience for those involved. Uh, thanks to Coach Stump for driving them out and being willing to be away from the rest of his team to do that. Uh, it, it's it was sacrifice, and I think it was hard on everybody, but a great experience. And it was a good thing. You always talk about sometimes, like, Akela at certain meets hasn't, doesn't get challenged because she's so far out in front of everybody, where when you're racing Division One athletes, you have to chase a little bit, and it can help improve times. D definitely. I think uh, Kayla and Simone are both in that boat, and I, I think I looked at Simone's heat. And I think it was Minnesota, Indiana, Iowa, Arizona, Concordia, Chicago, Purdue. So it's not what you normally <laughs> One see. One of these things is not like the other. Yeah. But it was uh, excellent to see uh, our athlete running on a stage with those athletes. And, and I think it's only going to continue to improve for, for uh, our program as we continue to grow and, and develop. You guys head into conference now. It's that time of year where you start to hope that everybody's at their best. There's a lot of your athletes that have been putting up very good times, season best, school best, as we've seen a lot of records fall this year. Just your overall thoughts and how you expect your team to be going into this weekend. Well, I, I think it's like Coach Russell says with the cross all the time. Um, yeah, they can do it in practice, but they got to be able to do it in the game, and, and you got to do it at the right time. Uh, we've been training, and, and the workouts have been going well. Uh, but now they got to, it's got to be on the right day at the right time. Um, and, you know, Russell this year with women's lacrosse had a lot of that. They did a really good job. And, but they had, what, two more wins than last year? Three more wins? It's nine. Nine total. Nine total, but three more than last yep. year. So they were bringing it on the right day. Hopefully we can follow their lead, bring it on Friday and Saturday, and continue to kind of elevate, you know, Cougar athletics. Well, we look forward to seeing you and your team out on the track and the field. Thank coming up here very soon. Cougar fans, it's conference week for CUC track and field. If you can't make it to the Benedictine for the conference meet, as he throws me off again, yeah. but for the conference meet, you can always find the links to the meet at cucougars.com. For head coach Phil Kopinski. And Danny. And Danny. <laughs> I'm CJ Sellner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.